Hi, uh, welcome all of you back. To, uh, welcome my friends and all the viewers back uh, to another uh, uh, very interesting um, uh, video uh, practical lecture. So today, uh, uh, it's uh, so so this video lecture series is about mobile apps, iOS, uh, Objective C programming and software development. And today's topic is uh, the practical lesson is about Objective C view controller. In general, the view controller presentation changes uh, moving from iOS 13 onwards. So, object to see view controller presentation changes in iOS 13. That's the, that's the discussion, right? And um, uh, uh, as usual, a quick background about the presenter. So, uh, 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 I'm having uh, as a present of this video, I'm having uh, 20 years of um, experience as a, a senior developer programmer in the industry. Also, uh, 20 years of experience as a lecturer in many universities so that's very important for our viewers uh, uh, to get uh, in depth and you know uh, uh, a very experienced you know uh, tutorial uh, practical to get delivered to their hands and uh, the teaching and learning technique uh, the style is very special in this video lecture series uh, because the objective is to make you uh, ready for the industry in a short period of time and and we, the presenters, being software developers, knows how the industry works and knows what the industry wants from you all. So that we have made this lecture series in a manner that all the practicals you will be doing, you will be doing uh, uh, on a very special manner. So, uh, so we want the viewers to become independent and being ready to go to the work in the industry at the end of the series. And because of that, the style is... Uh, we use here is we are very much similar to industry developers or programmers are using in their day-to-day -day life when they do their uh, uh, coding and uh, the style is mainly reference based and especially when i say references it's apis and uh, uh, different internet materials right so goal is uh, that you will become independent developer programmer in a short period of time so so let's start with the practical exercise and the demonstration. Uh, so to remind you once again, uh, the topic uh, for this video is Objective C and then view controller presentation changes moving from iOS 13 onwards. So for me to start with, I would uh, I will start Xcode uh, so that you can see a, a, a simple exercise. I'm, I'm going to create a new project. Uh, uh, iOS single view app and let me say next and let me say okay example uh, 3 uh, I'm, it's 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 all good you know just example okay it's example 4 view controller let's put that view controller presentation presentation changes so that you know uh, just a meaningful name right iOS 13 onwards right iOS 13 right onwards just a meaningful name right and make sure it's objective C because this video series is about objective C programming language and click next and of course just say create okay all good now I will be landed to the initial screen the first thing I'm going to do is uh, going to go to the storyboard and one more thing, uh, uh, if you are, uh, if any of the stuff I'm talking here is new to you, you can look at our uh, previous uh, video um, uh, lectures on on this iOS uh, Objective C series for you to, you know, catch up any of the previous stuff. But still, what I'm talking here is something simple. You know, it's not a big thing. Still, you can manage. You know, if you uh, concentrate uh, carefully. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put. Um, uh, another view controller so to get view controllers as uh, the objects i have to go to the library so it's shift command l or just clicking here so shift command l and this time i'm going to get a view controller right meaning a view controller is is a screen you know uh, 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 which you see on the app so i have two view controllers meaning it's like two screens uh, in my app right and to uh, make it clear i will make uh, the first view controller i will give like a yellow color and so it's very clearly visible first and from uh, for the second one I will give let us say green color okay and let me make some extra space uh, over here it looks good and let me just get some you know space uh, distance right and uh, I will I will play some buttons right so just to go back and forth so command shift L let's put a button here 
right okay a button and i want it font to be uh, slightly larger the font size to be slightly larger okay let's say bold and done okay looks looks good okay it's done mm. and let me put a, a, a background color so it, it looks uh, a bit clear make it a bit light a bit lighter right okay i got a button uh, and then uh, i would put like uh, next let us say uh, next right the next button so when i click next it should go to the next page right okay so let me call it as next page something like that yeah cool so i got a button uh, which it says next page let me just keep it here and then uh, i need to drag this uh, mm, uh, i need to make it uh, look uh, yeah so so basically so i need to drag this uh, no I, I need to make a copy of this because i want the same look and feel of the button so i'm going to press command c and command v got a copy of it and just going to uh, put it into the second screen the second screen is technically the second view controller so from the second one i want to say uh, previous page something like that right just the next page and the previous page so now uh, moving forward uh, when I run this, obvious you will see the first one because this is the initial view controller, right? So if you look at uh, this, you can see when I click on the first view control, it's the initial view control. It's ticked here on the attribute inspector, right? The initial view controller. Mm, and that's what is shown here from this arrow, right? So, so if, right, if I want, for example, if I want this to be, so if I run this very quickly, once again, if I just run this, uh, Okay, it's going to start the emulator, right? Okay, it's emulator starts. And and also one more thing, uh, something important. Uh, okay, it loads and it works. So the yellow color screen should come. The yellow color view controller should load in. Yeah, it's coming. But I'm going to exit the simulator for a reason because it's fine. I'm designing on iPhone 11 uh, design spec. So I prefer to get the outcome on iPhone 11. Uh, so that it looks consistent from with my design and the output and once again uh, we'll do a separate video on uh, universal app design which will talk how to how to make a screen and get it adapted into multiple devices right anyhow next page nothing happens right so i got i got the outcome and uh, just what i was talking about earlier was the initial view controller so this ticks initial view control so that's why the yellow color one comes but for example if i click on the green one and click on the view controller and if i make this as is initial view controller see the arrow head changes so now it's moved from yellow to the green so basically now what it means is if i run this what i will see as the first screen is um, the green color screen so it's something very simple right but but i don't want to start with the green screen i want to start with the yellow screen so i'm just going to the first one view controller and just say is initial view controller cool right now um, when I run this, when I click the next page, I want to move to the uh, green page, right? So this exercise, I'm going to do uh, uh, without programmatical, right? So I'm not going to write any code for that. So I'm just going to use uh, straight away the storyboard segues, uh, drag and drop. And uh, we'll have another video after this uh, about how to do this programmatically, right? Programmatically how to move, right? But the objective of this video is not that. Objective of this video is two things. One thing, how to create a segue in the design view with a drag and drop. Second thing, uh, as importantly noted, uh, is about to discuss about the view controller presentation changes moving from iOS 13 uh, onwards, right? So, so then to start with, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to give me a sec, I'm going to move a few things. Cool, right? What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to drag and make a segue now. So how to make a segue, how to make a connection is, you just press on the control key in the keyboard. While pressing the control key, don't release it. While keep it pressing, uh, drag the mouse from this button to the second view controller, right? So just drag it. And then it's asking uh, what type of a segue I want to create, right? So I, I will just start with a simple one, say uh, show, like let's say uh, just to show, right? So the moment I click it, see it creates a, a segue in the design view. So when I click on it, I can see uh, it's a storyboard segue and uh, segue uh, and it 
you can pronounce it in different ways you know people pronounce things in different ways some might call it as segue segue you know uh, it doesn't matter you know just just the the connection right segue so now the default what i got selected was the kind you know over here in that inspect it says the kind is show it's like a push so it's like working like a stack you know you know in in data structures you have stacks and queues so stack means it's like a stack of plates so you keep one plate on top of the other plate on top of the that you keep another plate so this push means same on when the user click the button now what will happen is it will push like in a stack meaning the green color screen will be displayed on top of the yellow color screen i could change that uh, meaning i could change the kind like uh, replace modly you know we we'll look into that uh, later so then simple uh, so we have the first segue right then i want the return segue as well right so i will uh, click on the previous button once again while pressing and holding the control key i am dragging this to my uh, yellow color screen and once again i am going to say show right and two important things to notice can you see uh, see now when you create the segue there's a gap here where i move the mouse right now see when i create the return segue there's a gap if you want you can rewind this video few um, seconds few minutes before and see there was no gap here earlier right so feel free to uh, go back and check uh, before i create the segue there was no gap at the top now this is what is the special thing we are going to talk in this about the view controller presentation changes so this is a change you moving from ios 13 whereas on the previous versions of ios on the previous version of ios this was not happening like this by default right so that's we are going to talk about that but let's run this now because i have the storyboard segue so if i run and when i click uh, on the buttons they should move back and forth because i have the storyboard segues right okay all good when i click the next it connects but as you can see it's it came like a stack on top of the the green on top of the yellow right now this is something uh, we are going to discuss but let me click the previous page and when i click previous once again you see it comes as a stack on top of the other but this was not the uh, this gap or stack kind of this gap behavior was not the default behavior uh, on ios 13 uh, before ios 13 right so so let me show that you know now and one more important thing in this video lecture series uh, in this uh, is is to make sure that you all are uh, very independent so as we told you all it's we all are going to make you very uh, independent right so it's it's a lot of referencing you do uh, on internet right so if you do a google search on this ios uh, you know view controller changes moving from let us say ios mm, 13 onwards if you do a google search right i i have done a google search and i'm going to just show you one reference but if you do a general google search you will see that there there are a couple of discussions talking about uh, these uh, changes moving from ios 13 onwards so i'm just going to open a couple of discussions which which is on internet this is how developers learn right so this is how you have to learn moving forward if you want to become an industrial developer uh, that's what our uh, uh, objective of this video series so basically you can see talks uh, recent articles let's in the sense like 2019 june you know it talks that um, the changes in view controller presentation styles right and some improvements and uh, ui improvements and presentation style. so this is it so this gap as you can see is known as the automatic presentation style whereas uh, earlier there was no gap it was known as uh, the full screen you know mode you know so it's the full screen mode was the earlier default but now it's not the full screen mode it's it's known as a automatic you know configuration that's what you see so what this means is this and what these improvements you know these ui improvements they talk in internet uh, and in, in the apple developer uh, 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 app in the apple developer website is that couple of improvements so that when the user uh, uh, clicks and navigates to another screen uh, the the user when the user click and navigate to another screen give me a sec um, uh, i'm going to show it uh, practically for you all so let now now you all understand the first part of this right so give me a sec on the pause button you know we're just checking something give me a sec i'm just checking something it's getting recorded like 
So uh, now, now you saw those couple of articles, right? So the improvements and stuff like that, and um, the the swiping behavior once again. So if I if I uh, run this, as you saw uh, just a little while uh, ago, the swiping behavior. So so when I say next page, okay, I can come to the previous page, but now it's like a stack. So I can swipe this down, you know. The, so this is what the new improvement is. So the user understands that he's on a screen and he can swipe that page down like normal. So I'm going to swipe it down, see, from the, the just simulating the swipe from the finger, I'm going to swipe it down from the mouse. See, I'm just going to drag this down from the mouse. So this is the new uh, UI improvement, uh, one of the improvements. They want, the Apple want to give the look, this is the look and feel, the feeling they want to give for the users using the apps. So this is the new, uh, uh, what you call the new change, you know, uh, which uh, we were talking a little while ago. Let me copy. Moving from iOS 13 uh, onwards, the view controller presentation changes. Now, if you don't want this behavior, you can change it. So how you change it is, you will, you will click on uh, the uh, segue, right? Storyboard segue, and then the kind, the 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 attribute inspector, the the prop, the kind, the property kind attribute you will you can change it let us say to a, a different option let us say present modly right let me say present modly the moment you put that present modly uh, select that kind uh, present, then you get the presentation so what you do is if you want it like full screen you can just select it, uh, the the presentation as full screen the moment you do it you will see that it's full screen see the gap is no longer seen at the top same if i click on the next segue uh, coming back i will say the kind is uh, present modally um, then uh, it's to get full so if you want it as a full screen behavior where model window this is like a model window so the user will have to first finish this and press a button or something and you know uh, finish the task then you go for a full screen options if i run this now right uh, I should not see that uh, uh, the first behavior instead of that I should see the full screen behavior right so see uh, now when I click the next page it, it comes full screen you know it's it's not that earlier you know uh, that swiping uh, behavior so I'm so I'm trying to swipe it down you know like with the finger it doesn't because it's on a full screen model window so it's like present model model mean you have to you have to first finish this task by say clicking a button or something let us say now if i click the button if i click the button it goes you know so it's that's so this is the this is the uh, behavior we had earlier but this is not the new behavior um, because the apple won't they want to give a different uh, look and feel for the user so i think that's that was something very interesting for you for you to understand this presentation styles of the automatic and the full full screen so 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 we covered that uh, uh, important part of view controller presentation changes moving from ios 13 onwards and i hope you enjoyed this video and um, uh, there will be uh, uh, for, for for the further videos about different concepts and feel free to have a look at them and until that um, uh, all the best and uh, see you in a new video see you guys bye